So here we are, we three queens. I'm Micheline. I'm Aqing. And I'm Musonda. Are you a good woman? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd be a bit dramatic about that question. As usual, we're here for both women and men, and we super appreciate, obviously, our male followers. This is a question that just seems to, you know, I don't know, it just, it keeps Haunt slapping. The world. Yeah, just mm. slapping at us. Women, you know, like, oh, that's not becoming of you, or oh, that one is not a good woman. Mm. And so we're here today to muse and ponder over this concept of a good muse woman. And ponder. You know, just, you know, with you all. So we're musing and pondering on the web. Um, but what is this a good woman concept? How has it poked and pinched you in your life? Um, how would you even start to tackle that thorny it's, subject? It's such, <laughs> a, it's such a weird, but also very complex space because mm. whose definition is it? Absolutely. Good, goodness or whatever that good is. Mm -hmm. that, that, that for me is really my real musing and yeah. my bigger question. Yeah. Whose definition of good is it? What are the standards and parameters of, oh, do you stay mm. quiet when you're a wife? Or do you not talk about your career? Do you not wear yes. makeup? Yes. Well, I mean, there are all these strange Absolutely. things that emerge. Let's get into yes. those things then, yeah. because okay, we're here in an, in an East African context in that mm. we live in Nairobi. Let's call it an African context. Mm. We um, have lived and traveled um, in very many places. But while we're here in Nairobi, I'd, li I would like to ask you ladies, um, what would be like a, maybe a quality each of a good woman that you do not Hey, today I'm being dramatic. Sorry. Yeah. This is where I get this drum from. <laughs> that you do not. Do not. Yes. Let's revise. What would be a quality of a good woman that you do not portray? Because you would know from society. I'm colorful, expressive, and authentic. And I have actually been in a situation what? where somebody felt I needed to minimize myself more and dilute the color because they felt it was too much mm. for the woman that they wanted to show they were with you know what wait I mean? so is this a partner this is a You're part dating an ex -partner. partner and they have a, like a sit down to have a yes. word with you yes and they about they, your color the, the the color the the kind of expressiveness like we'd go to a function they wanted me to kind of be mute tone and quiet and tone it down oh my god yeah and you know what? I was just thinking about this crazy. It's just crazy. And I was thinking, you know, today we were just wearing black, of course, but you know, it's black with bang with a pop with of something. Yes. I mean, yes. you know, and I know we're talking about color on the inside, but on the outside, did he also sort of make comment about, I don't know, your colorful wardrobe? You know, what? no. Fortunately, no. not because okay. yeah, or um, nails or anything. Yeah. Uh, you know what, he didn't, okay. but I, I do recall, and that's why I think this is such an important conversation. Jesus, yeah. I do recall growing up, I realized my nails could grow. These are, these are my own nails, they just grow. Where my hair doesn't grow, my nails grow. <laughs> I know, so I, I have the opposite. <laughs> Can't have everything, darling. Can't have, <laughs> Can't I have everything. Like, you know? But I remember growing up, getting in trouble because my nails would grow, and I'd put nail polish. It was, you know, you could buy the nice cheap nail polish that you put in, you know, whatever. Yeah. And therefore, when it came to time for housework, mm. I used to think, oh dear. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> no, seriously. And I'd get in trouble with my mom for that. Yeah. For real, for real. But I always say, so what makes a good woman? If I can really scrub the floor mm. or if I'm rocking the boardroom? I mean, whose definition is, is it? it? Exactly. If I'm exactly. rocking the boardroom yeah. and earning a good, decent living. Yes. Versus, let's say, scrubbing the floors to perfection. Right. Mm. So, and I can be either or or both. Like who decides? Who decides? I'm going to come back to yeah. one thing you said about being authentic. And yeah. that's something that this guy was also kind of questioning. Yeah. So your color, your sort of innate colorful personality was really put uh, to question. So yes. the opposite is true of a good woman. Yeah. So a good woman is more muted and, okay, but I want to come back to authentic. I know yeah. you're dying to jump yeah. in here. Yeah, I mean, for me, of course, you know, I've, I've not spent a lot of time home, so I moved to Switzerland in the 90s and, and 
and many times I'd go and visit mm. and of course my family would be like, well, that dress, it's a bit above the knee. Yeah. Yeah. And this would be at what age? This would be in my 30s. Okay. And I'm like, what's the problem? <laughs> like, well, no, you know, it's, you know, it's, you know <gasps> the decency. Yeah. And then, and then okay. of course, the, 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 the kicker, yeah. I haven't heard the kicker. <laughs> yeah. The kicker came in when I announced, obviously, that I'm going to do my PhD in London. They're like, oh my God, you're unmarried, you're a black woman, you're going to do a PhD, you'll be too educated, mm. and you will not be submissive enough, and, uh, ooh, and maybe your lobola will go up because you're too educated. I thought, oh my goodness, how am I having to deal with all of this? I muted that noise mm. out mm -hmm. and I said, I will be what I want to be. And my mother and mm. my late stepmother were so instrumental in just saying, just be. Okay, yeah. so you had them just be. support exactly you being in your sort of that authentic self. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've heard, you know, in the extended community, you know, aunties about, you know, eh, Yes, you cut too short. Yeah. You know, like yeah. during maybe a, a house event, mm. you know, where you have to serve like a family people. gathering. Or but, you know, it's always so weird a family gathering because mm. it's in the context of, I don't know, but sometimes in the context of men, perhaps. Like, are mm. you just busy, sexy, sexying in front of men? So there's. Yeah. That right. Aspect the sexualization of, of your it. body. Right. Yeah. Right. But at, at some point, you know, over 20s or whatever, you're an adult, your body is your body. So. Mm. Who is it that is feeling, you know, over kind of what attracted to your yeah or insecure right? or about you looking the way you mm -hmm. look? That's the part. I mean, I just context. don't like that because yeah. it's it's your body. Yeah. So I've had it just suggested. Yeah. Thank God, not from sort of, sort of anyone mm. who matters, any of my immediate family. Yeah. I feel like somewhere in the society you're supposed to hit a magic. To your point. Yeah. A magic. What thirty five, and then your yeah. hems start getting longer. Yeah. Yeah. I feel. And but I'm like, no. But you know, you know, it's, it's I mean, if, if I could rock the boat, there are women, like, bless her soul, mm -hmm. the late Professor Wangari Mathai, mm -hmm. she wore no mini, she wore her beautiful Kitenge outfit, a beautiful headscarf, and she was very vocal about the conservation of the forest in yeah. Kenya. She was so disrespected. Mm, yeah. Like, oh God, she's not a good woman. She yeah. just needs to tone it down. She's challenging specific norms. Right, and then society. must have been really bad in the 80s. I mean, hopefully it's getting better, but yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 But in the end, you know, the whole definition of goodness um, or absence of it is what won her Nobel Peace Prize because she pushed, exactly. she pushed a exactly. cause that was so important, important. Exactly. and she was never silent about it. Mm. So where do we draw the line, even as we educate our children, to be you know purposeful mm. about specific causes in our you know especially girl children? Right. Yeah. It's like you cannot be silent about mm. an injustice. Mm. Absolutely mm. not. Mm. And you cannot start to try to put the lid on somebody's innate talents mm, or professional, yes. um, you know, sort of ambitions. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, late Wangari Mathai, I mean, she had this whole sort of ambition around the environment and, and you know, it needed, of course, she studied and she was part of the, you know, Kenya, uh, was it Kenyatta University here mm -hmm. and so on. So this thing about, I want to actually segue into that, this thing about people saying to be a good woman is to not do too much of that studying or working. Mm. There's something there, right? In mm. terms of like, mm. mute your professional side yeah. as well. Yeah, I think it's, it, there's, there's a component around muting your professional side. When you get to a certain point, it's At almost like point, you can yeah? be professional, yeah. but when you get to a certain point, then maybe it's a bit I've too much. I've seen that. But mm. I think there's also, I want to come to that example of Professor Wangai Madai because the fundamental thing she did was she made herself heard yes right. and so whatever the context mm. is it's about making yourself heard whether heard is in the form of self-expression mm -hmm. in the form of you know verbal expression right. or, or 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 visual expression mm -hmm. finding the courage and giving yourself permission right to be heard whether heard means seen mm. or heard means heard That's really you know well said. when I think of a lot of these That's young well girls said. and all the all the the the, 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 the the social construct, but back right. to, to borrowing that term from you, Moose. Right. That social contract the construct that tells you you can't, you shouldn't. Mm. Yeah. They need to know that they need to make themselves heard. And I see a lot of young people 
more and more, especially in the advent of social media, doing that. You and I make love yourself. That. Say that again. Yeah, make yourselves heard. Yeah. Whether being heard is a verbal thing yeah. or being heard is a visual thing. It's about celebrating your gifts and putting your gift, whatever it might be, yeah. out there. That's you know really who my great. love really is, though? Even the, the if it South makes African. people uncomfortable. Yeah. Exactly. You know? Yeah, the girl who won mm. Miss Universe, the South yes. African. We love her. Occupy yes. your space. Yes. Absolutely. It was the best message she could give mm. out. Mm. Yeah, that is so powerful. Mm. And it, it makes me reflect on something someone told me when I you know, moved to, to Kenya a few years ago. Um, we were about the same age. Somebody at that time, you know, I don't know, in a, late 30s maybe mm. said to me that she grew up in a home in which her grandma or her aunts used to tell her be um what is it a wall flower wallpaper not sunflower something like that really Ooh, i'm telling what you and she, she told me it was actually and i stand corrected but she said you know out of the kikuyu culture mm -hmm. right there was an expression to that effect so you want to be, again, a wallpaper and not a sunflower. Mm. And you know what? We were talking about it in the context of both sort of clothes and what you wear. Mm. So wear your muted colors. Don't go out with your bright yellow and greens and fuchsias and whatever. Mm. But also in the context of overall demeanor, attitude yeah. and being. So basically, to just mute yourself. Mm. And she said to me, like, she had gone to the Sorbonne and studied and come back and somehow even just having gone to the Sorbonne, mm -hmm. you know, and speaking French and all of that, she just muted that fact. Wow, wow. See, really? Yeah, I was like, mais uh, parlons français ensemble. Oh, c'est grave. grave. You know, grave. like everything. And she was actually going on this journey yeah. to start from the outside and sort of change her colors yeah. and try and mm. just be more yeah. colorful. But she said there were so many people mm. who were going to, you know, probably give her a bit of a slap in doing that. Yeah. And it yeah. was both... And religious as well as cultural uh, but you know wow. what's problematic with that is it's it's mostly how that narrative is mm. just put on the women on yeah. the girl children and the women which i find problematic and i'll give an example mm. for me in the pre-covid world you know with my job and i mean this is the dynamic that we all face traveling and you know being away from home etc i traveled quite a bit you know and i and i put systems in place even when i was away leaving my young two young children behind um, at home and I remember somebody inboxing me on, on social media somewhere and saying oh you, you travel too much you know you need to take care of your children and you need to be oh no it was your kid no it was so strange and I thought oh but they're with their dad and and he's like well you know you're their mother and I said well you know there's a, an equally responsible parent <laughs> who's with them it's like no it's too much you know, you're just out there in the world as if I had to diminish myself. Mm, yeah. And that was, I was not good enough a parent. I was not good enough a woman or no good enough a not partner a good even. Parent. You know, because, I, I found yeah. that really shocking. And I just thought, I'm not going to respond to that. Yeah. And I just ignore it. Good for yeah. you for just ignoring. Yeah. You know, as I listen, <laughs> you know, and we sort of try to, I guess, bring this to a close. We could go on forever on this mm, one. Yeah. Yes. It just appears to me that all of this is coming from the outside. There is a cultural you know, sort of bent, there's a paternalistic bent, isn't there? Yeah. I mean, some of the time, a lot of the time, it's kind of what men, you know, are saying. But sometimes it's also like an older, you know, older women. females, older women, mm, yes. you know? And yeah. I just honestly will say, good, you know, this idea of being good is something that you know you just want to define for yourself. Yeah. I think it's such a big word, and Absolutely. so if your internal morals and values yeah. and so on are intact, totally. Do your bright colors. Do your three PhDs. Do your travel around the world. Do, do your, you. you speak do you. aloud? Do you? Do, you know, yeah. I, honestly, I think yeah. that you know it's so good we touched on this because. I think there are lots of young, you know, girls and young women out there who probably are hit by mm. this issue. And yeah. so that's our guidance, man. Do you, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh yeah. my goodness. Absolutely. It's a wrap, but one thing, before we wrap up, mm -hmm. just because we talked about your very long nails. <laughs> <laughs> I got, and I had a look at your amazing Can I can I just ask you ladies one thing? Because I don't um I just do my nails like once in a while, like just a lazy coat of paint, you know, once a month. Mm. What's your nail upkeep routine? I'm just really curious. Like, how often do you do your nails? I do my nails. Okay, first of all, just for the just record. The, just, you know, because they're yes. fabulous. 
This is with, why I just with do the this. crystals. <laughs> <laughs> yes, matching the note, it's matching the bracelet. So I do mine. I love it. <laughs> Can you imagine that detail on a nail? Uh -huh. I know. I, when I discovered it, I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. So this is my new thing with this crystals. Yes. I do my nails once a month. And so that's your signature So this thing. will, and the only reason I redo it after four weeks is because my nails grow so fast. Okay. And so long. Yes. That's so the only once reason. a month and you put the crystals and it The crystals stays. thing is a new thing, but generally oh, I do wow. them once a month. Fantastic. Yeah. So mid-December, your nails would just be like that. Yes. Well, I'll change wow. the color and maybe change the design, but yeah. I love them. And you with your different well, colors much. today. Yeah. No, I mean, I. I went subtle a little bit because normally I'm red or green or a bit of orange and dramatic. So this is subtle for you. But yeah, this Have is also what, this is also once a month, you know. Check it out. Two, Ooh, two shiny, honey. shiny ones, a bit of subtle, you know, nude colors and I love because it. I've been moderating some Smashing. very serious conversations. But even in those, even in those, you just I like have red your nails just usually. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Wow. No, I I couldn't help but but notice. And these are my nails as you well. Know, my father's <laughs> nails. Very are those well. yours? Yes. Whenever I'm in the presence wow. of these ladies, I'm just, I, I might as well just do this. So I'm not going to talk about my nails, but thank you for sharing. <laughs> Listen, you're ever um, fabulous. I think, anyway. you know, well, I try. <laughs> and let's just continue to do ourselves. Yes. yes. So do, you. Do, do, you. You. do you. Do you. Do you. Do you. Thank do you so you. much, ladies. Please subscribe. Bye-bye. <laughs>